Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran continues to evolve. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I am right in front of the camera again which means one thing. We are here for another unboxing video. Now for this one I've got two Hammond Collection figures but we're going to be looking at only one of them in today's video. And as you can see I'm in a different scenario. I'm in my attic because I was going to record this in my room but my brother was playing the Lost World Jurassic Park in the background and it kind of interfered with the camera so I didn't want to get copyright claimed. So I'm here in my attic, it should be a lot quieter. I know the lighting isn't really the greatest, but forgive me. I mean, this will become my new room one day, but you know, whatever, one thing at a time here. But yeah, in today's video, we will be looking at the Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus figure. So if we look at the back, it says the massive Parasaurolophus is captured by InGen on Isla Sorna, but not without a fight. And that's all it says. No, seriously, that's all it says, look. That's your description for the Parasaurolophus? Nothing about its crest or what it's used for or the fact that it's, well, a hadrosaur? Well, I guess, I don't know, they wanted the Lost World one, but why keep it brief? I mean, at least all the other dinosaurs had, like, descriptive descriptions. This one's just brief. It's basically just stating the obvious. Like, look at the picture. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing portion of the video. All right, so here it is, the packaging for the Parasaurolophus. So we got the name for it, we kind of got the the detail for it and uh, the Hammond collection. We got the sides and the back. Like if you look at it from the back, it looks cool. And then you got this, the Lost World Jurassic Park. I love how it says that. And then you got Hammond collection on the side. Well, we're not gonna see the full experience of the figure till we get out of the box. So let's do just that. And here it is, the Parasaurolophus in all of its glory. Notice I have it on all fours, but I'm sure you can stand it on its hind legs if you needed to, like this kind of. I mean, it will fall over a little bit, but the articulation might work itself out. Like that's good, no, nope, no, nope, that, it'll just fall over. But yeah, anyway, all right, let's just take a look at it. So if we look at the head, like with all of them, yeah, the mouth moves definitely like all of them would. Then you got the crest here. The head looks very detailed. I kind of like that. And the color is, I gotta say, the color is on point with this guy. Just on point. From the orange top to the golden-like color to the black and white stripes, or sorry, brown, not black. It's really cool looking, you know, and you got the nostrils even. Like if you look really close, you've got the nostrils. Really cool, you know, and and just uh, normally I'd compare the sizes to the um, other Parasaur, but I don't see it here, so we'll just leave it at here and just see what's going on here. This might be a relatively short one, but uh, yeah, here's the uh, Parasaurolophus for you guys, looking really cool. So yeah, the arms kind of move and whatever, and uh, yeah, looking cool, very articulated. The arms move. You can have it on all fours, or you can have it like in hind legs and whatever like right now I have it on all fours because this looks a little better all fours Parasaurs should be able to walk on all fours as well as their hind legs they're just really cool creatures Ark if you're watching this or Studio Wildcard if you're watching this take notes for Ark and then you got the Parasaur you can stand on their hind legs and whatever call out to your friends for help or if you're in danger and then you just run away from the danger yeah that's basically what the Parasaur is known for. But yeah, it's really a cute looking model and whatever, and I'm actually glad I got it. But yeah, overall, because of the articulation and it falls over every time you go into bipedal stance, I'll give this figure an eight out of 10. If it just stood up in its bipedal stance without falling over, then I would give it a higher rating. But yeah, apart from that, that's that. 
But that's going to have to wrap it up for this unboxing video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.